I've recently downloaded. I don't think there is. It's Buenos Aires, 1979, but that was a bit poo when I tried it before. Um, our drive's on, so let's look at the mods that I've got. Tracks to test. Right. Road America. Let's have a look at those. Tracks to test. Uh, Dubai Autodrome. I install that one and take out the other. As you do. Install that one. See how easy it is. Rather than buggering about with files and things. Guangdong. There's that one. What else we got? Norris Ring, Laguna Seca. Uh, where is it? Laguna Seca. Should really have selected these all at once, but fuck it. So we got, what's the other ones? Norris Ring, Road America. Norris Ring. Um. Pikes Peak, might as well. Road America. I think that's it. Do 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 do. Who was the latest follower? Brought to you by. Oh, okay, fair enough. D D D D. It'll be 10 days today that I'm going to do my 24 hour stream. I might as well install Sebring while we're at it. 24 hours over the E3 period. Um, I might see if I can order some energy drink because I think I'm going to need it. I haven't done... what was the largest I've done so far? I think it was... It was Pikes Peak, Pikes Peak, right. I thought I had the other one there. It's a bit strange. Using myself. Thanks. Me for Pikes Peak. There it is. Delete. No point hoarding tracks. And you've got the updated versions. I speak. There we go. Right, so we've got a few tracks to test. I reckon. That one off. I don't know why that command doesn't work now. For some reason it's expecting something. User specific. See where you can set the permission on who can use the command, some permission level. Oh, that's probably not what I want. Mm, I still don't know why that command's not working very well. But hey, I digress quite a lot. Right. Time to think of what kind of car would go around these tracks. So, 
We'll start from the top. The new one installed. I've already tried Dubai. I know that's solid. Guang Dong. Now, I always like when I'm trying new tracks is to do it in this car. Because it's kind of cool. Oh, I forgot it hasn't got any upgrades. So it's going to spend ages on this screen. It isn't there! Um, let's take out the AI, don't worry. Me. Start at 2pm. Track is going to be with Light Rubber. Should just be me on track, I think. Yeah. Oh, I obviously didn't select the track and pressed it, but it didn't take it. How strange! Unless it's loading that with that. No, it's still Le Mans. Why didn't you take the one I said? Maybe because I didn't press accept. Yeah, there we go. This looks like a conversion from something. I remember seeing this title screen on Donington. So maybe that's done by the same person. And if this is a screenshot of the track, it doesn't look too bad. But someone's added some motion blur to it. So it makes it look nicer. Don't know if this is an official track. I've never heard of this one before. It might be kind of for local things. It looks like it's done by someone who knows what they're doing because look, little characters are there. Just to add to the ambiance. Now, I don't know why I've done 20 times. Um. <laughs> Uh, 20 times uh, time because this car doesn't have any bloody headlights. <laughs> it also doesn't have a speed limiter. Toyota Celica. It's a lovely piece of kit. Lovely car. See, it's updating its weather so the clouds keep moving. Track light isn't going. Is he bugged? Was the session not started? He's static? Should I ignore him? Oh, stole it. <laughs> Silly. Then again. He's still telling me to stand still. Well, the track wasn't closed. It looks like they just built this track on a piece of wasteland, doesn't it? Car's a bit of vice here, and I remember. Whoops. Remember to lift a throttle to him. Be 
quite a, a good club racing track, I might actually keep this one in mind for thinking of doing a, a series with my big friends in this car. Because this car is just awesome. It sounds a bit wimpy, but um, Spot on, I reckon. It's well, when I say spot on, I, I wouldn't know what a toy head Sealy get hands like, handled like. But it um, feels nice to drive. Yeah. Run off there, aren't they? Yeah, I like that track. That was good. bumps on it. What am I actually going to do for this car as well? Because I'm going to turn up the force feedback for it, because it's a bit weak. Probably going to kill myself now doing it 2.0, but who gives the monkeys? Right, next track. Uh, might as well go down in the list. Uh, what's a Laguna Seca. Same guys made this, it looks like, or there's someone that's made these title screens. It's pretty good. The other track wasn't too bad. And again, I don't know if people made these tracks from scratch, or whether they're from other there from other games ripped from other games or you know taken from the previous version of the last generation of R Factor to R Factor 2 but still well, I was quite impressed with the quality of the other one you know tracks always look their best at very early morning and um, early evening. Um, just they just seem to look better when the sun's a bit lower. Because obviously when the when the sun's highest in the sky, there's no shadows and it just looks bland. Well, that's what tracks look like. This is why you can normally tell as well that the longer it takes to load, the nicer it might be. Let's just check, I'm still capturing this one. Yep. Always got to check. Yep, same kind of style. Um, I'll be impressed with the texture of the pit lane though. But, uh, it's very bright for two. Hey, look at it. I suppose. If you're if you're racing this for real, then when it's oh that's a bit better when when it's oh it doesn't know what to do it doesn't know where to rain or what does it when it's really bright then the whites things like that are things that you would squint at now to reproduce that on a monitor is very difficult this car feels a bit 
much better with heavier force feedback. Sometimes find is oh, from game to game, from, you know, last generation to this generation of games that come out. They all seem to have the same old tracks, same old locations. You know, you've seen several reproductions of Monza and Spa and. And this Laguna Seca. Sometimes I find it a bit boring. People should be thinking a bit outside the box, you know. There, there's been bound to be a, a track from somewhere in the world that's used as a club racing circuit. Even though it's not well known, it might actually be a good one to race on. saves us, you know, racing on the same old tracks from the same old locations that we've had for generations and generations of games in the past. Because, obviously, Guangdong, I've never heard of that one. You know, where, where did that one come from? Is it a club racing uh, circuit in China that they only use for certain events or what? Admittedly, it might be a bike circuit or something. <laughs> I don't stay updated with all that. I'm quite impressed with this one. This one's pretty good graphically, um, and the way it feels as well. Now I've turned up the force feedback. This car is pushing back a bit. Definitely pushing me back a bit. I freaking hate this car. <laughs> to it in first or second. Now, this is obviously showing how good this track probably is, because I'm running it full res. And I'm only getting 30 frames out of it. So, the textures are going to be quite high, I'm reckoning. But I'm very impressed with it. But again, I think this this is one of the tracks we might use for our Toyota Celica series because it's, it's class. It's very good. You know, the lumps and bumps on it makes it feel alive. Uh, that's, that's what it's all about. Looks like it's just about to rain, though, isn't it? The clouds look a bit ominous when they keep changing like that. I've turned the wheel off now, isn't it? So you can't see me hacksawing at it. Can't remember if this does this car have brake balance. It does. Throw up. <laughs> and you see that over one part of the circuit, blue sky, you look over the other part of the circuit, grey clouds. Well, got that wrong, didn't I? Banging, that was kind of cool, wasn't it? Yep, I like that track. 
that's another one I'm going to stick on the list. Right, so Laguna Seca L. Now I don't know whether it's either it's either my machine or the fact that it's not an optimized track. You know, on a better machine that might run a bit better, but 30 frames a second for me personally. But my computer needs an upgrade, so okay. Norris ring, I know this one. And it doesn't look like it's by the same guys because it would have had. When you put that into perspective, that's all the track. That's all it is. That is all it is. Interesting. Lots of right angle turns. There's probably a chicane in there somewhere. I remember there being chicane. I don't know whether there is on this. Yeah, yeah, it's a chicane on this version. Hmm. Now, I've always wished for this, right? Games like, well, I say games. I mean engines that are currently being used, like CryEngine and Unreal Engine 4. CryEngine particularly has its own um, environment, so you know you can mould and bend terrain. Now, with racing games, people have had to b build things from scratch. They don't start off with a blank piece of canvas. You see what I mean? They 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 start off having to build the track and then put the terrain in. It's not a case of right we're doing we're gonna push it and pull the terrain up and down and then put some track on top. Um, you know, and if, if game engines were able to kind of bring in some Google maps and things like that to shade in, you know, you can do texture blending in CryEngine, I know you can. Um not sure about Unreal Engine 4 though, but this is definitely this track has definitely been worked on. Look at this. Now this is what I like. This is this is what I think should be promoted. Someone's put a really lot of hard work into this. So much in the stalled it again. Um, what I wanted to look at was safety car. Why have they put a safety car there? <laughs> because you should have a safety car with the with the mod you run. But I digress. Someone's put a lot of hard work into this. So many trackside objects. It makes it makes the track feel alive. It really does. What I think I might do is start making. And again, oh, I that actually came was there. It start promoting tracks like this, but someone's put a lot of work into this. Start making video, not video reviews. I don't really like reviews as such. Um, like showcase is maybe a better word. Of people that you know, th this is what's um, possible with this game. If you put the hard work in, you can do this. Often and not, people are very defeatist about what's possible, well, you know, what people can make. But it's, again, this is the track that runs at 30 frames a second for me, but on a, on a better machine, this is going to run 60 or more. Again, you know, tracks at midday or 3 pm look bland, <laughs> they will do.
again, this 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 might be a course that I do with the Celica Cup that I'm trying to think of. Um, I think I've got a couple of settings wrong in my graphics about the trees, making them look a bit worse than they should do. They're a bit invisible. But again, it, it, it's a matter of maybe of contacting these people as well to say, well, you've made this track, do you fancy sharing some of the assets that you used? Saving them as separate objects. Saying to the community, look, this guy has shared us some things for you to freely use. Give credit where credit is due. You know, rather than feel that sometimes everyone's, you know, every time they make a mod or a track or whatever, they're all starting from a blank canvas. Why reinvent the wheel, so to speak? You know, even if someone was giving away uh, some tarmac textures or something, some white line textures or arm code textures or something like that, you know. At least someone has a starting point to build from. It can only get better. But again, these tracks might might get released. Um, and then people just don't put their name on them. You're like... Oh, isn't anyone proud of their work? You know, wouldn't you want to put your name on something that you spent hours and hours, you know, grafting over, because these, these type of things, they're not, they're not just, you know, click, 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 done. It does take a bit of hard work to get these things completed. Lots of testing. But I think if, if I do run this in the Salika Cup I'm trying to arrange, then I'd have to turn down the graphic settings. This is another one that's really well made. And this is in Germany, I believe. So the, so the weather over there must be very nice, because considering the it's overcast when we look at One Direction. Now you can see the clouds moving like that, it's because I've got it on accelerated time. After this, that. It's a pity this this game really it hasn't got it's got wet weather effects, but it's not got um, proper spray yet, and it hasn't got um, wet weather you can see on the windscreen, so you'd get an idea that there was you know rain coming. Hasn't got that, which I think it it does need. But yeah, that's in miles per hour. And a pit lane speed limiter is in kilometres an hour, isn't it? Pull into the garage. See if I can get this right this time. Cool. Yep, I like that one. Right, next one. Don't really fancy doing Pikes Peak, to be perfectly honest. Too long. Road America. Right, last one, and then I'm moving on to something else. I might actually have a little bit of a break. A bit of a stretch. Now, we've had, was it two, three pretty good quality tracks? Um, 
Not sure where this one has come from. I was actually going to start a, a blog or a directory of these tracks and things with videos and, and what have you. It's just trying to find the time. I can't really make my own websites either. I'm a bit. Could be basic ones. It really needs a database of um, all of these things. I need to speak to one of my mates that knows how to do those those types of things. Right. Um, right. Uh, this is Road America, which just trying to. You know, I've run these tracks before, but it's a matter of thinking, well, which way does this one go? I can't remember. I think. Yeah, I think I remember it now. Yeah. Yeah, I do. See, it's amazing how many times you would have run these in different series and different games. And they're all the same, really. I might have a little little bit of a different feel to them. Some of the tracks you would rather might be laser scanned and what have you, but this looks awesome too. Quite impressed with these ones. Oh yeah. Got. So I think I ran this particular track in iRacing. Uh, in a skip barber, I think. Varied results in that, I must say. I think it was a skip barber, anyway. Yeah, this is definitely another one on the list. So I think this track particularly is, is done used for like semi-endurance like LMPs and, and they uh, press the front too early now as with a lot of things some of these tracks kind of suffer from um, billboards and things which look too bright um, they stand out a mile, and you you definitely notice when they're not textured right. because when you go to when you suddenly go to uh, night mode, and they they suddenly they look like they're fluorescent. And it's amazing how you remember which way these tracks go and what gears you've got to use. Yep, this is definitely another one on the list. What frames per second are we running at this time? 40, so it's going to be 30 to 40, it's not too bad. It might be a bit iffy running it with a few more people, but... Oh, how did I slow down for that? Wing and a prayer. I have this nasty habit, oh, flat spotted the tyres, nasty habit of um, stamping on the throttle, particularly when, I, when I'm not really supposed to. Um, so, for example, why isn't the road just moving on that helicopter? <laughs> This is funny thing you know, the car slides away from me and then when I feel I've got it back in control I hammer the throttle, I just put a stamp on it and sometimes that, that makes the car spin out my own worst enemy sometimes but it's definitely this car has got a new lease of life now I've turned up the force feedback on it, it's great I'm not sure how I'd be able to do an hour what I might do with the Celica series that I'm going to try and run is do two, two 20 minute sprint races, I reckon. That might be a good idea. I know a few friends.
friends that have done, you know, two hours on this track in their Porsches and things. Yeah. One more lap. Enjoying this. Oh, that's where pit lane is. No, that can't be. Can it? That's a bit of a strange pit entrance. Wing and a prayer. <laughs> Drifted it. Now, what I stupidly do sometimes is when I'm trying to learn a track I will accidentally um, mentally make a note of trackside objects as my braking markers and what normally happens with trackside objects during the race suddenly they get hit and they move so rule of thumb for me should be set braking markers to things that don't move <laughs> <laughs> and I, I normally um, use it as a, a, a marker to say, well, if I break here, then I'm safe. But if I break a little bit beyond that, I can push it a little further. So the marker that I use is not normally the marker that I break at. It's the marker that I'd say, well, this is the benchmark. I remember the, I can't remember what, what series of cars I was running in iRacing on this track now. Because it was definitely faster than Skip Barbers. Don't spin it. Bugger. Bugger. Well, I am very impressed with the graphic quality of the tracks I've just been trying. Huh? See? That sign stands out, stands out a mile. It doesn't look like it's got any shading which matches the surrounding area at all. These trees look awesome. On flat, but they look awesome. Now, pit entry is that was a side road. It can't be this big, can it? It's sharp, isn't it? Right, how do I get back to the garages? That arm co looks like it's floating. Yep, that arm co is floating. Is that how you get back? No. So this is pit lane. I like people that leave it open to... Is that open? Can I get through there? Nope. So I still think that to be fully immersed, to have these pit garages and things, you know, you should, over a weekend, um, be able to go to a track and test. The track be completely alive, so, um, it, it remains naturally progressing you should be able to only exit the track oh I was close, that's where I go <laughs> um, when you exit the track kind of like, um, what do you call it, maybe an RPG for a 
a racing game where you'd have to go back to the garage to get your car mended. Um, if you crashed, you'd have to get it um, pulled up on a lorry. Could you imagine, though, if you had like an online event, you crashed, your car had to be extracted, um, and then the, the, the session would be red flagged. Um, you know, I don't know how people would feel about that. Oh, look, it's started to rain. It's a shame, isn't it? Should I go out in the rain? Let's go out in the rain. <laughs> 